First we buy, then we flip, then we sell, otherwise known as House Flipper. Yes, welcome back to House Flipper, ladies and gentlemen. We're here among the many, 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 many houses that we could choose to flip it to do. We can flip it to do quite a few of them now because we have a grand total of 157,000 after the disaster that was the last episode where we missed an entire freaking room. And now my before and after shots are utterly screwed. So we're going to go a bit of ham today on the whole kind of uh, how much money we're going to spend up front. Now, I think last time we spent about 30 grand on the renovation. So we spent a lot of money on the furnishings and the paintings and the tilings and all that sorts. So I was thinking about, you know, the house, the house, a house that's hiding something. Um, that could be fun. The one to move into, the unsatisfying effect, all good choices, but they are, you know, breaking that hundred thousand. And like I said before, the bigger the house, the more stuff it's going to need and the more you'd spend on the thingy magicies. So I think today what we're going to do is we're going to do one that is hopefully going to be quite fun and one that you will all recognize. Well, I say all of you, most of you should recognize. Um, we're going to do Joey and Chandler's apartment. The one to flip. <laughs> this is Joey and Chandler's apartment from the popular US sitcom series Friends with Benefits. No, wait, it was just called Friends, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it is actually Joey and Chandler's apartment. It's so cool. Um, I didn't even know this was in the game until uh, a friend of mine pointed it out. I went, yeah, by the way, do you know, you know, yeah, that's, and actually, yes, of course it is. 98,000. Uh, I'm actually going to read the freaking the blurb on this one because that's the problem. That is the problem with the last episode. I didn't read the blurb. I just went and bought it. And then if I read the blurb, it would have told me that there, were, there was one across the alleyway. Some armchair, uh, ugh, some arse chairs, some armchairs are so comfortable one would never want to get off of them. And this apartment comes with two of them. Who would let such a bargain go? Well, indeed. Indeed, it doesn't come with Joey's entertainment unit, though, so that's a big loss. <laughs> um, maybe he's still stuck in it. I don't know. Is that almost looked like a pair of legs there? It almost, <laughs> there's so many clothes and pizza boxes around. This is going to have to do a big clean-up mission. But it is just the apartment. There's no hidden rooms. We're going to buy. Let's go. So yeah, I would really like to intro this episode with the Friends theme tune, but, uh, you know, copyright would just slap me so freaking hard. Welcome to the apartment. Can I open this? Where's Monica and Rachel? Oh my god, it wasn't this green. <laughs> Just use. Uh, oh no, that's uh, returned to the office bit. Okay, we'll, we'll stay. We'll stay. We've only just started. I wanted to have a little go. Look at that. There's che cheesecake on the floor. There's che the steps are missing. Oh my god, this is not even 100% accurate. I'm so triggered right now. Oh my god. There, just the foosball table is in though. Uh, love a bit of foosball, right? We'll just dispose of this garbage that's littering everywhere. Uh, who are we going to sort of design this? Well, there's two bedrooms, so we know it's not going to be like uh, a family home. We're still not going to be making one for the family lambs. Jesus, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Joey and Chandler were never this messy. They were never this messy. Although the turkey head, yeah, very good. Very good. And, oh yeah, the crate of, uh, <laughs> the crate of reflection, whatever it's called. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Lots of, lots of callbacks. I like it. Lots of Easter eggs on this one. There is the dog statue, but it's tiny. Where's the big one? There he is. Look, I knew he'd be in here somewhere. <laughs> there he is. Right, we're going to get rid of all this stuff and this will clean up the place nice and properly. Let's have a little look around as well. Oh, Joey. Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> This is not a how you doing room. This is not a how you doing room. Oh boy. There's just pants on the... Disgusting. Foosball. Um, a fez. I can't remember what it's called. Mr. S Mr. Snuggles or something like that. I can't remember. I forgot what the freaking penguin was called. You guys don't know. You guys don't know. Um, and we got the... T there's a weird TV. A hockey sticks. Okay. We're getting rid of a load of stuff. Uh, yeah, all the pasta on the carpet and the floor. Yeah. And the lazy boys. <laughs> Excellent. Are they all supposed to be dirty magazines? Disgusting. Right. And this is Chandler's room, of course. 
Right, okay, so everything is here. Wait, 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 wait. Is the guy across the way... Nah, see, there should be a window here, I think. Unless it's this one. How do we get rid of these blinds? Can we get rid of these blinds? Good morning, good morning. Um, morning time is here. I can't remember what the song was. <laughs> uh, brilliant, okay, so we've got a few more bits of us. Where are the freaking tools just loitered around? Oh, in the bathroom. Yes, of course, the bathroom. Here we go. Duckies! Light up, duckies. Duckies! Ah, oh, cute. All right, sweet. Um, the shower's in the wrong place. I thought the shower... No, I may be wrong. I don't know. No curtain, though. The bathroom's not actually bad. It just needs, like, I don't know, a bit of updating. And these weird luminescent duckies are a bit weird. I'll turn them all on, though. Wow, that one's evil. Evil duck. Where's the chick? <laughs> Alright. So, we got cleanup to do, first of all, as always. I've got a bunch of selling to do as well. I've got to sell off all the crap that we don't want. Um, and there's probably a bunch of other disposes around. There we go. There's a load of hidden disposes. And you got to get them all. <laughs> there's no hole in the wall on this one, I assume. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's just clean up now. Any other extra dis dis disposes that I find as well. There's little things everywhere. <laughs> hey, it's a little fun. Brilliant. Okay. Christ, what are we going to do with this place as well? I mean, it's a decent sized apartment. It's a de very decent sized apartment. Kitchen, living room. We can have a dining space or we leave it as a boy's place. I don't know. First things first, however, we get our trusty mop out and we clean. We clean this diabolical... Dis is that a dispose? That's a dispose. No, there you go. See little hard, hidden things like that. This is what's going to trip me up, I swear. Clean it all. Clean it all. Okay, I think it is perfectly clean. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I think it's almost clean. Okay, it's now clean. I think it's clean. I had all the thingies from the buyers going, hey, finally, clean. Okay, so I think it's good. Um, so, right, okay, we need to figure out who we are making this house for. So it can't be the Johnson family. Far too many people in that. Chang Choi could be. Could be. Uh, although the bedrooms are quite small. Dolan we sold the uh, last one to. This guy wants his freaking sauna. Everybody wants a sauna. They all want bloody saunas. This guy is... He's a, he's a landlord. Jimmy Traitor. I don't like a sauna. Expensive equipment. Not too many people would fit in this small living room. Have you seen it? But... All right. It's a bit dirty. TV in the bedroom wouldn't fall asleep. Okay. Okay, so here's the plan. The plan is space optimization. <laughs> Sounds sexy, doesn't it? Space. They'll find a way that's something else. Uh, space optimization. Okay, because everything in this place is all jaggedy, waggedy, and a bit weird, right? This bit of space here. What's this doing here? It's just a wasted bit, right? This insert here kind of cuts into the rooms and is, again, I know it's framing the TV area. This bathroom is set back in here and things like that. So we're going to have to move some walls around. So the bathroom is an easy one. We're just going to basically get a few extra inches here by by lining up with this corner here. So we get a few extra inches in this bathroom. We can turn it into a little bit of a nicer room. However, I do want to try and get a sauna. And there is a little sauna um, unit that you can buy. Um, and it's it will fit. It's like that thing there. Freestanding sauna, right? You can buy that, and it's that big. So, we might be able to get that in here with a few extra inches, is what I'm thinking. It'll be cramped, but it'll tick off the sauna box. However, the family that I want to try and get this built for uh, is these guys down here, the Smoth. They don't want a sauna, so that's fine. We can cancel that out. If we can't get the Smoth on board, for whatever reason, then we can maybe go for Raphael, who wants the sauna. Okay, now, the thing about the Smoth family is they need two bedrooms. Great. You need one for them and one for the little girl that they have. Brilliant. So we need to turn, I think, Chandler's room into the little girl's room, because Chandler is a girl. Um, and we're going to turn this into a master suite, right? They want two bathrooms. Uh, now, we're not going to fit a bathroom in here as it is... But what we can do, and this is a bit radical, and it might not work, and it might look hideous, but square this off from this wall to this corner here, 
and have this space added to that bedroom and this space that I'm walking around in now could become if I put the door here for example that could become their ensuite bathroom now the problem with that is obviously you'd have this big wall coming out from this corner here to about that point and then down there which means you're going to have this kind of weird rectangle cutting off the room right here so we may need to flip the kitchen round to that side of the room so that you've then got a walk in straight through into the living space here this door would be moved there so that you can create a living corner where you don't have to walk through um, and essentially you'll have a corridor from here one door there one door there for the two bedrooms straight through to the front door that would be a kind of naturally formed corridor so lots of work to do that's the plan now let's see if i can actually make it happen so i need to clear up this is the first bit i want to do is this this master bedroom area and this ensuite because that's the biggest piece of work i think so let's move everything out of the way and put it over here and then we can get started on that all right sell the door knock down the lintels yeah <laughs> It's at this point of the build where all the buyers start freaking out because suddenly rooms are disappearing. <laughs> it's great. All right, Joey's room is now a little bit more exposed. He's not going to like that. Okay, put the wall in then. Hey, a new skill point. One of them. Uh, I forgot to put a door in. Jesus, could you flip hospitals or something? That's what these doors look like. Damn. <laughs> That's horrible. I had no idea you can get swimming pools. Oh my god, you can get swimming pools. What DLC added that in? I love it. Swimming pools, please. Door. Oh. Lovely. Very nice. Okay, so here we go then. That's the master suite. We can then wall that off and turn it into an ensuite space. This should be more than enough for a small bathroom. Bingo. Oh, just the lintels. And there we have it. There's our ensuite bathroom to our master suite bedroom. And this is what it's done to the room outside. <laughs> it's looking a bit different already, isn't it? Right, let's move uh, Chandler's door to about here. Um, and then we've got this corner here can be the living, uh, the sort of entertainment living area, I guess, whatever. Uh, all right, it's coming along, it's coming along. These doors shouldn't open both ways because that's not how normal house doors work. <laughs> All right, so now the fun bit. This living sort of, we've got this nice corner here. So we want to free up this corridor here so there's nothing obstructing there. But there's no reason we can't, say, zone it off using furniture. This wall, I think we're going to have a nice TV on. Um, and then maybe some bookshelves over here and stuff, which means we can have the, the lazy boys that are facing the TV from here and here. I don't know whether to keep that sofa or not. I don't think there's going to be room. Um, but yeah, TV, coffee table, we'll have a whole new units and stuff like that. But we'll try and keep these two um, as the sort of homage, as it were, to the original apartment, I guess. Oh, that is one big ass TV. Kablamo. Smash in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. I don't think it's going to fit. I think you could probably fit a person into it. Yeah. Yeah, it's Joey's TV cabinet all over again. Ain't gonna fit. <laughs> and there's the living room. Bit of paint, some tiles on the floor. I'm not sure about this painting. I'm gonna leave it there, see how I feel about it. The oak. But I got with this sort of like a, a sort of dark green here to give it that kind of cozy-ish feeling. And then we've sort of transitioned to a sort of darker grey colour over there to separate that from, from this area. Nice rug on the floor as well to zone it out. There we go. And uh, Hugsy. <laughs> Ugly, of course, in pride of place. Living room. Okay, moving on. All right, next. So let's take on Joey's room. Um, I think the bed is fine. I'm not sure about the color of it, but you know we could work around that. Um, everything, everything, you know, furniture-wise, everything's fine in here. I just sort of might room around some pictures and stuff like that, change the light out, and obviously we need to redo the floor and redo the paint because that's a freaking horrible color. And then the bathroom, we got an ensuite to build in here, so we need to start off with some installations. Uh, so let's go with installations for assembly. What do we want? We want a shower, toilet, and sink, basically, don't we? So we could have a suspended toilet plumbing system. 500 quid. You devil. You devil. Um, we could have that maybe there. Uh, it's got a 
difficult because it's like right where is everything going to go i think a shower in that corner sink right there toilet right here so obviously you can walk in and stuff like that that's pretty much all there is room for in here but that will satisfy the two bathrooms thing and that's the fixtures in the shower and toilet and the sink i've put some tiles on the wall and uh, some halogen bulbs in the ceiling now oh, just a bit of decoration and there we go so i've put some accessories in uh little details like ventilating they got a towel rack above the sink and stuff like that now bathroom done there we go that's the ensuite to um the master bedroom suite here now we just got to do this all right easy paint rug light bed wardrobe changing my mind actual wardrobe and then with a couple of pictures on the walls i think we're done pretty much I'm not sure what else to add here. I'm like, I'm looking at the, the walls over by the bedroom and the curtains and them stuff. Yeah, maybe we could do something with that. But I'm not even sure. Um, I might leave it for a bit and see how I feel about it. I may change the, I don't even know if I can change these freaking curtains out, you know? I've never seen them in the, the tablet. I'm sure I must be able to. I've just been missing it. Um, but there we go. Uh, bedroom, I think. Pretty much achieved. Very adult, grown-up-y kind of bedroom. Not much going on in here. As always, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was Joey's room. It is now master suite with an ensuite bathroom. So, noise. Okay, moving on. Yeah, Chandler's room. Okay, so I wanted to turn this room into um, a, a kid's room, basically, because the family that I'm trying, or the people I'm trying to get this house set up for is the Smoth family here. I want to do a uh, build for them they're not even in the top five of interested parties yet but that's because i'm pretty sure they're waiting for uh, a kid's room a second bedroom to be set up for the kid and also this isn't actually considered uh, a living room at the moment it's considered a large kitchen so i'm not quite sure how to get it to recognize that this is a, a living room kitchen area so yeah i'm gonna get rid of absolutely everything in this room uh, it all needs to go because it's going to be a kid's room. So let's start with that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This uh, underneath. The, that's disgusting. Oh, excellent. I've got some books and stuff. I take them. I'm going to put them in the living room um, on the book shelf. Look. See? Made for it. Look at that. Um, although, you know, in fairness, a bookshelf in a kid's room is definitely um, valid. Definitely valid, but not those sorts of books. You know the sorts. There we go. Empty room. Okay. Now I've got to find some paint. Put it on the walls. I'm going to go. I'm going to try um, this mountain wallpaper here. On here. Let's see what this looks like when it's finished. I think you can have a lot of fun with kids' rooms, basically. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And that's uh, a bit of paint on the walls as well. And that all works quite nicely. I'm not sure about this light, but it is the only light, kids' light available. Everything else is, you know, just like normal ceiling lights, I guess. But hey, yeah, kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Right. Uh, furniture then. Now, these guys have got a newborn child. So that means that we need um, a newborn baby cot, I assume. That would do. You can either have girl or boy or neutral. I'm going to assume it's a girl. I don't know. <laughs> I think that if you go with that direction, it's the easiest, isn't it? I'm really hoping they're going to appear on the left here. At the moment, they're just not even slightly interested. <laughs> the most interested person is the artsy-fartsy lady. Again, because I put a painting on the wall, she's like, I'll have it. <laughs> the Smoth family are just nowhere to be seen right now. I'm really hoping I can uh, pique their interest with this room. Okay, well, the cot's in. Let's um, let's get some other stuff going. A nice uh, nighttime sky wardrobe. Yeah, nice then. Look at that. Still not on the left, bastards. Okay, how about a changing table for their newborn baby? Still nothing. Still absolutely nothing. God damn it. How about now? No. Still nothing. After I built the perfect kids' room. Nothing. Not even slightly interested. These bastards. These absolute smeg fate. I don't even know what they want from me right now. I'm trying to make you a nice house. You're not even interested. You don't care. Artsy fartsy lady is still the only one interested, despite the toys. She doesn't even care for the toys, but she's still like, yeah, I'll buy it, whatever. It's got pictures on the wall. She's all about that. And of course, 
Jantart family. Always interested. Regardless, if I put a rug on the floor, their game, they're up for it. A bookshelf. That other guy, I've forgotten his name. Dolan's interested. He got a bookshelf. Never mind, I actually built a freaking kids' room for some new parents. Not even batting an eyelid. I am so pissed off right now. Anyway, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Kids' room. Or formerly known as Janna's room. Done. Okay, so first of all, I just sort of sorted, uh, ditched the kitchen and stuff. Sorted out the bathroom wall there as well. So I've added the door. I haven't done anything else in there. It all needs to be done. Um, now, I've given myself like a dark marble tile with a dark marble half tile white sort of ceilings here. Because I'm thinking that we're going to go for a light style modern kitchen here. And then I'll need to put some paint on this wall over here. Uh, uh, I'm kind of thinking I might keep the uh, the board. I'm not sure about the dartboard, maybe. Um, and I'm starting to think that in order to get this room to actually qualify as a living room, I'm going to need to put a sofa in here because otherwise it's just not going to do it. With Even without a kitchen right now, it is just regarded as room. <laughs> so I'm having no luck whatsoever as getting it to recognize this as, as a living room at all. And I think that's really putting off my buyers. Right, so kitchen... Well, that's a bit better. It looks like it's less out of the 80s now. Okay. So, that fits. Now we can finish this on and make it go around the corner a bit. We need a fridge as well. Ah, there we go. Okay, so kitchen is in. That looks like pretty good, actually. You've got the center sort of black and white and gray and stuff. We're going to need to add some nice little pops of color somewhere along here, but it's fine. We can do that with, like, accessories. Um, So, that brings my attention to the final bit. I don't know if the foosball table is going to fit in here, but uh, let's see if we can get, like, a round dining table set up here. Maybe another bookshelf on this wall. Okay. I've added a sofa in, and it now registers a living room with a kitchenette. Much better. Solved that. It was the sofa. You need a sofa in order for the game to qualify it as a freaking living room. Fine. I managed to squeeze it in. Got rid of the bookcase. Uh, because we put two bookcases back here. So these two, more than enough bootcase uh, for the area. And that fits nicely in with the, uh, the bathroom there as well, you see. Um, perfectly engineered. But there we go. That is the living room, kitchen, diner, room. However, yet still no Smoth family on the left-hand side. I Honestly, I don't know what more I can do for them. They've got their two bathrooms. They've got their kids' room. They've got their family area and their freaking sofa and their freaking kitchen, and yet they're still not interested. Who is interested, however, is the guy, the, the landlord. Great. Lovely. Fantastic. Why are these guys not interested? There is there is no place where we can spend whole time with a family. Yes, there is. A big family needs two or more bathrooms. There's two. Not enough rooms. Our future baby needs somewhere else. She's got her own or he's got her own room. Every house needs a living room. Got a living room. The house is nearly clean. I prefer it. It has actually been fully cleaned. There won't be more children without a comfortable bed. You've got a comfortable bed. Everything checks off. Everything checks off. Yeah. No. I don't understand. Do not understand. Help me out in the chat here, guys. What have I done wrong? Um, honestly, I seem to be getting the same people, and only the same people interested in in the houses, regardless of what, how I set them up. Anyway, I've got one more room to do, and then we're done. I'm... I really want to get a sauna in here. Oh, I got it. Hang on, what am I? Install that. Install that. Install that. What am I clicking on now? Oh, the roof. Yep. Install that. Ha 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 ha. Sauna. Shower. Oh, you get into the sauna through the shower. Look. That is freaking genius. Turn light on. Oh. Wonky. Well, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Fancy. That didn't need the plumbing. I don't understand if that's now working or not. I assume it is. It didn't complain. Like with most shower units and stuff, you've got to put the plumbing in. Ugh, gaps down the side. They look so ugly. Um, it's making me wonder whether I should maybe create a custom build sauna in here. I've just never done it before. It just seems so easy to put the whole standalone unit in there. But the gaps, the gaps, guys, the gaps. Put that there. Right? Uh oh. <laughs> Physically getting. <laughs> you can get in, but that's it. Then you're out. Okay. <laughs> we'll get a freaking sauna in it. Damn it. <laughs> we will. Uh, 
Well, I have, it would appear, ultimately failed miserably at this uh, at this flip. I have failed to flip it to the uh, desired flip it standard. <laughs> I went, I set out to make this place good for the Smoth family. A young family with a newborn child. But they are clearly not interested in any efforts that I make in order to cater to their whims. So do you know what? Screw them. F those guys. Screw those absolute delinquent losers. Because here's the master bedroom, formerly known as Joey's room. Oh yes. Very uh, grown up. With the ensuite bathroom, fully kitted out. With shower, floaty toilet-y thing. Sinky thing. Radiatory up on the high wally bit for some, some reason. I don't know why the tower rails in this game seem to be that high. The ones that we have here are like normal person height. You don't have to be a giant to use them. But there we go. Moving on. Then we have our lovely living area, which is, I think, actually come out very nice. This is my favorite bit. What I have done with the lazy boys. Um, you know, even with the, the added sofa in the corner there, which, you know, I think goes reasonably well. But the big TV, the dog with the, sp the speakers have preserved some of the uh, original notes of Chandler and Joey dotted around. You can still see them. The dartboard over there. So, um, yeah, that, that seems to work reasonably okay, I think. Um, then we set up this wonderful kids room. Um, as you can see, again, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think this is a lovely room for any newborn or young person to enjoy. And... Yet apparently not. Apparently I suck. Whatever. Of course then our kitchen. I still haven't found a room. Like, I'm just going to leave him there to be honest. <laughs> I don't know where else he can go. Yeah, there is nowhere else he can go. So the turkey will stay there. Um, but I think this has turned out very nice as well. Very sort of modern. This just stands out like a sore thumb. But at the same time it is it is part of living in in a place. You know it is, is part of it. So you're always going to have these weird bits that don't go with the whole kind of vision or whatever you want. Um, but the kitchen, you know, just, just by the fact that it started over there, being over here is much better use of the space, I think. And it's still a pretty well kitted out kitchen, let's be honest. you got this sink and cooker and everything. you got the fridge and whatnot. And you even got a, a freaking breakfast bar thing going on here as well. So that's that turned out quite well. We've got a dining room table in there. It is a bit, it's all a bit shoehorned in, I will admit. Um, you know, once there is actual people sat around this thing, there's not going to be much room to manoeuvre, but uh, it's, it's a two-bedroom apartment. What do you want? Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, ladies and gents, because after much toil and... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not worked, does it? <laughs> there seems to be a slight issue here. Oh, dear. This is supposed to be my large showcase tour of the, the final of his apartment, and this has happened. How embarrassing. Oh dear. We'll just make sure that the door opens that way because that is perfectly engineered. The other way, however, garbage. Let's uh, breeze over that and pretend it never happened, shall we? Here is the bathroom then. As you can see, I've kind of completely weirded out the space. That's the technical term. Um, we've got a big rain shower. I splashed some cash, i got to admit. I really splashed some cash on this thing. Big ass rain shower. Um with the ventilator and obviously there's no door on that it's fine uh because you know it'll all drain away there's yeah uh and then of course the toilet is sink which <laughs> i have this tiny little like alcove here it's perfect for a sink or so i thought i know that there's a bit of lip here on there but it, it seems to be fine the other option is i get a narrow door here i could just fill that in with a narrow door which is only three wide and that would be perfectly engineered as it is at the moment. Whoops. <laughs> Clipping! Triggered! <laughs> Clipping! Okay, whatever. Um, then, and then, despite the fact that there seems to be some kind of... Oh no, I seem to go through that gap absolutely fine, actually. Look at that. No, it's silky smooth. Silky smooth. Perfectly engineered. Um, we have a sauna. We actually have a walk-in proper job sauna. Take that, Joey and Tran Chandler. Freaking saunered your bathroom, sunshine. This isn't like any Namby Pamby sauna, like the built-in thing I first showed you. No, 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 no. This is a proper job. 
Zbrumba job with the paneling of the walls and a little thermometer thingy and even like a towel and uh, you know all of that stuff it's a proper job sauna do you know what got far lesser reaction uh from the buyers on the left than i was hoping but there we are uh <laughs> it is what it is so okay so maybe i could fix that yes and then we can sell the house because i think it is about ready and as far as i am aware there are no extra hidden super secret oh shit the door's on the wrong side again yeah Okay, so we'll fix that, and then we'll fix the bathroom door, and then we'll put it up for the sale, and there's no super secret extra thingy bajiggies the other sides of corridors or whatnot. Everything's fine. Bloody hell. I can't believe that's on the wrong side again. I keep doing that. Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Yeah, okay. See that? See that? Perfectly engineered. Perfectly engineered. Absolutely intended that from the beginning. No mess in there. Also, the door's now the right way around. And that is now perfectly engineered. Okay. <laughs> apparently according to the buyers on the left the person that wants to buy the house is jack tarrington and jack is 40 year old investor buying houses for rent elegant no trash it's nice that there is at least one sofa i want to rent this house to people so it'd be great if they will have a place to sleep i think the kitchenette in the living room would definitely be a good idea i think the tenant will like a tv in the house um there are loads of norwegians here they look at houses pay heavily for renting one uh Tenants value two bathrooms and they value a sauna. Expensive items in a house was rented, a bad idea. What if the tenants damage them? The first impression is the most important. The house must be clean. Okay, so there is a lot of very expensive stuff in this house, which is why I'm surprised he is the top of the list. Like that shower in there is $2,000 uh, alone. That TV was $3,000. You know, there's a lot of freaking expensive stuff in here. So I'm, I'm so baffled and confused at how the freaking buyers figure out what they like and stuff because yeah okay there's a foosball table in here and there's a lot of silly things from from when Chandler and Jerry lived here but it's perfect for the freaking smooshy family whatever the freaking hell they're called smoths you know what? whatever I'm, not, I'm over it I'm over it let's I, ah, such a shame I want to sell but again it becomes that bittersweet moment in every house of flippity bit where all your hard work just vanishes and all you get in return is just this namby pamby number on the screen money okay all right i suppose i'll take the money whatever okay so we spent ninety-eight thousand on the house we have thirty-two thousand left we've been working on it for five hours my god it's getting longer and longer, I tell you, these big houses. Ah, uh, let's do it. Put on auction. Here we go. We have spent 19 grand. Three grand on renovations. We sold eight grand, mind you. So, actually, not too bad. Um, we're making a hundred, We're making 40 grand on this, uh, which is not Which is far less than I thought we'd make, actually. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Expensive items in a house for rent is a bad idea. What if and the best thing you've got to say about it is that there's no trash. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. You guys suck. Where did the Smoth family... They didn't even... They didn't even... They're not even here, look. Can I have new buyers, please? Can I just roll the freaking dice and get some new people in here? These guys suck, man. All right, let's negotiate. I spent a lot of freaking money on this. I want an extra 10 grand. I want an extra 10,000. All right? You don't give me another 10,000. I'm going to slap the shit out of you. No way. My offer is not negotiable. I knew it. I knew this son of a bitch would be like... Would be like, no. No. All right, let's see if the Jantarts... Two bathrooms are too much. All right. I don't want to accept the offer. I don't want to accept. I don't want to refuse. You'll be fine. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Shit. Only 40 grand. I have. I have an utterly failed. This is the worst house I have flipped. And I don't understand why. <laughs> it wasn't for you, Jack Tarrington. It wasn't for you. I think, to be honest, the Schmooshy family or whatever the freaking faces will only accept a house 
uh, with a yard, but it doesn't say that. Fine. I am bitterly disappointed. My, I am just, whatever. This game sucks. That's a brilliant before and after that is, isn't it? <laughs> it's a wall. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there we go. Wall Street Shark is the achievement I unlocked for that. Failure of epic proportions would also be an accurate freaking achievement for that one. What an absolute shit show. The, at least I took some pictures before uh, I sold it. So at least I can go back and go, look, th look, you know, that's good. I can make it a painting, a sticker, a frame. That's not bad, that. Look, I made a sauna. I tried to please. And what did I get? 40,000. 40,000 in profits. 40 grand. I might, have I turned into one of those people? 40 grand. <laughs> still 40 grand. It's still 40 grand. I mean, look at the houses we can now afford to buy, maybe. You know, we've got 184,000 in there. So maybe we could even be looking at things like old house with a bunker. Uh, pink kingdom, maybe not. Variable woman's house. What? Okay. Garage with a bunker. Yeah, you know, we got we got we got a bit of cash. Alright, fine. We need to be getting a shitload of cash to be looking at this stuff down here, but we'll get there. We'll get there. There we go, ladies and gents. Four houses flip it a bit. -a Four houses sold. I mean what you got what did I make on the what did I make on the house that I failed to renovate half of it? Forty nine. I did half a job and I made more money on that one. What's wrong with these buyers? Done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. If there is one. Stupid game.